Hi there. Welcome to Metris Maniacs. My name is Ron, and I'm going to show you today how to change the air filter in this 2016 Metris van. I believe the procedure will be the same regardless what year you have. Um, it's pretty straightforward and pretty easy, and I'll walk you through the steps. Alrighty. Here's the housing for the air filter. Um, the air filter is right underneath here. So what we're going to have to do to remove this cover is these three Torx nuts need to be loosened. Um, they don't have to be removed because they'll reside in this top part. And we also need to disconnect this guy right here, which is um, a hose clamp on this, um, not the intake, the intake's here, so this is the air outtake from this cabinet. This part we don't need to remove because it's got some flexibility, so we can just slide this out of our way when we get this open. So, let's begin. Here's the tools we're gonna need for today's project. We can, we're gonna need a T25 Torx wrench. Um, we're gonna need a screwdriver or a nut driver, whichever you have. I got them both here. You can use either one. Um, that's gonna be for the pipe, for the hose clamp. Um, and this is the filter, which I'm gonna be using. It's a man filter. These are made in Germany. Um, C42002 is the number. Uh, this is the correct filter for this vehicle. Um, I purchased this. Um, you can find them in all kinds of places. Rock Auto has great prices on this product, so that's where I got mine from online, Rock Auto. Um, I'm not being endorsed by them, but I do appreciate their pricing on products. All right. So this is a T25. Uh, its writing's ripped off, rubbed off, but it is a T25 Torx. That's what this screw is. So you're just going to pop these in and just unscrew them. They shouldn't be very tight. It's going to be pretty easy for you to take this off. And you'll feel it get loose, and that's all you need to do. Once it gets to that loose spot, you're good. You can leave it right there. There we go. The last one. All right. All right. So here's that hose clamp. You can either use a screwdriver, as you can see this, or here I've got a seven millimeter nut driver. It fits on there nice, makes it a little bit easier to do the job than fighting with the screwdriver, which can slip often. All right, now we're gonna pull this apart. And now that's off and free. For the most part, it's still applying a little bit of pressure, but that's not gonna bother me. And now I should have access to get under this. And if you look back here, you've got a hinge and you've got a hinge. You actually have four hinges. So as you can see, I can just flip this around. It's still connected to this, but I don't need to disconnect that. And this will allow me access to check underneath and see if this is clean, which this is as it should be, because this is the clean side. This is where the, the air that's already been filtered gets sucked into the engine compartment. So underneath here, this is probably gonna be a mess. Yeah, look at that. We've got sand, we've got leaves, we've got a, quite an arrangement of dead insects, um, all locked in those little bays. So some of you may ask, why did I take this? Why did I disconnect this part when I could easily have just popped it open and gotten the filter out? That is true, I could have done that, but I wouldn't have had such an easy job cleaning this up. And if I'm gonna do this air filter, I'm gonna clean this cabinet up entirely on the intake side so that none of this stuff gets sucked into my new filter and starts clogging it immediately. Um, so this is the way I like to do it, and I recommend doing it that way, so that's what I'm gonna do. find stuff that might be stuck save your old toothbrush keep them in your garage it's a good thing to just come in here and loosen up stuff that might have gotten wet and got stuck bug parts all right now it's time to put the new filter into the box it's seating into this the the um the top of the filter is going to seat into this channel right here so this man filter is ideal for this. 
I'm going to go ahead and pop it into the center, into the lower part now, reattach the top, and we'll lock it into place. Nice and flat. We are going to get this over here. Now, important to pay attention to these twists. You see that? I twisted it several times when I was doing this video. So I just want to make sure I get that nice and untwisted, which is like right about. So you got to make sure you, you get these guys into place. You're going to be kind of pressing it, a little bit of persuasion going on. Raise it. You're going to make sure it's seated correctly onto the filter, which just doesn't seem to be, I don't seem to be getting it yet. There we go. That's looking accurate. And boom, everything lines up. It took a little bit of jiggling to get it back into place. But now I can already start connecting my my wrench, and I'm just doing this by hand without the tool even. These screws, these torque screws. I like to not use power tools for this part. I think it um, makes a you get you get a more sense of what's going on if you're just using your hands and especially since you're not going to be over tightening this and it doesn't take that long to do it by hand all right last part let's get this guy back on where he belongs right on there angle this so i can easily work it and just start tighten it back up right into place Everything feels good. Everything is right in place. We're done. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to this channel. There'll be plenty more projects going on with this Metris van, and I'm going to highlight them all on this YouTube channel. So if you're a do-it-yourselfer and you have one of these vans and you want to see how things are done, subscribe to my channel. Thank you.